Hi you guys, it's Jamie with Jamie's Taking It Off. So I'm coming to you guys today to make a slideshow, I guess, of some meals that I have been taking pictures of, um, foods that I have been eating, stupid bugs, um, meals that I have been eating along my journey. Um, I had really stopped taking pictures of what I was eating because I basically just kept eating the same things over and over again. Um, but someone had asked me to show some meals that I had been eating, some different foods. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I will not be on video while I'm doing that because it is a slideshow, but you guys will hear my voice. So um, I, I want you guys to know these are just meal suggestions. Um, when I first started my journey, I was using what I had in my cupboard. I didn't go out and buy extra stuff, different um, ingredients. So some of the things have higher fat content or higher calories. And I was just using portion control and trying to moderate um, what I was putting in my body by portion control. And if something was a little bit higher, I always, um, you know, I didn't eat all of what I had planned on. So sorry my allergies are acting up Daniel and I went geocaching today so I look like a hot mess and my eyes are itching anyway um, so like I said these are just suggestions if you guys want to change something add something take something out you're more than welcome to um, I wish I had more information on these things I, it's been a while since I've done it so I'm just going off of things that I had already on my computer so I will start making um, some cooking videos for you guys. I know a lot of people are doing that that are on their weight loss journey. Um, and I'll start taking more pictures and keeping better track of the information. So thank you so much um, for the request. And here we go. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to try to record this. We do have a lot of wind right now, and I do apologize for that. Anyway, this first picture here is of a typical breakfast that I would have. Now, I alternate my breakfasts between uh, English muffins and, and things of that sort with my um, Body Fortress chocolate protein shakes, and I'll get to that in a second. But here we have an English muffin with egg, ham, and cheese. Of course, there's spinach in the egg. I'm sure you can see that. Um, the ingredients here is one Bubba's whole grain English muffin, and of course that is toasted, one large egg, one slice of great value baked ham, that's 97% fat free, 15 grams of mozzarella finely shredded cheese, 0.7 ounces of diced Roma tomato, one wedge of laughing cow cheese. This is the garlic and herb uh, flavor. And I will tell you, you need to get some of these. They are awesome. They taste wonderful and they're good on anything. Um, half of a small banana. And the nutritional information for this meal is 381 calories, 46 carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 24 grams of protein. Okay, so this is what my protein shake looks like. Um, it is the Whey Protein Super Advanced by Body Fortress. Now, I use usually use two scoops for breakfast, and I was using almond milk to mix this in, but I've since then gone to just water. Um, I use 16 ounces of water and two scoops of the protein shake. The nutritional information is 280 calories, 16 carbs, 4 grams of fat, and 52 grams of protein. And again, that is for a two-scoop serving. Okay, here again we have an English muffin with egg and ham. The difference is the ham in this one, and I wanted to show you the calorie breakdown difference for this type of ham. Um, I actually had this for a quote-unquote brunch, um, like a, a snack in between breakfast and lunch. It was a, a late breakfast basically. Um, so here we have another Bubba's English muffin, whole wheat of course, one large egg, one garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge, uh, 25 grams of frozen spinach, 10 grams of shredded Italian cheese blend, one and a half ounces of black forest ham. This is not the ham that you get in the the deli meats. This was ham from the butcher. Um, I got a block of ham and had him um, 
um, shred it for me, not shred it, um, slice it for me. It's really sliced thin. Um, so the nutritional breakdown for this is 326 calories, 33 grams of carbs, 11 grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. <coughs> so I wanted to let you guys know how I make my eggs for breakfast. Um, if you look, they're always round on the muffins, and I'll tell you how I do that. <laughs> um, so I take one of, of my daughter's little plastic bowls. I spray the inside of that with Pam before I start cooking. Um, break the egg into it. I put it on my scale and add my, sometimes I add cheese to the egg, sometimes I put it on top. Um, anyway, so I put it on the scale. I add my spinach, my other veggies that I'm wanting to add, and my cheese. Then I um, whisk that up with a fork and pop it into the microwave for two minutes. Now, if, if it's still a little bit runny or too runny for you, don't stir it again. Just put it right back into the microwave for another 30 seconds or so until it gets to the, the doneness that you like. Um, I do not recommend putting salsa directly into the egg and then microwaving it. Um, if you do that, it kind of changes the texture of the egg. So add your salsa to the top if you want to do that. I've added salsa to the top of mine before. I've also done it in the microwave and it didn't turn out so well. So wait until you're done to add the salsa to it. Okay, so here we have my version of McDonald's meal. <laughs> this is something that I had for lunch. It's a grilled turkey burger and baked sweet potato fries. Um, the ingredients in this is one Oro Wheat multi-grain sandwich thin. Now they have other brands, but I personally like the Oro Wheat. It has more protein and... Um, uh, I think it has flaxseed in it, I'm not sure, but I really like the Oro Wheat a lot better than other brands. Um, so we have our sandwich then. We have one Kirkland turkey burger that I grilled on my outside barbecue, and of course Kirkland is a Costco brand. One piece of cooked turkey bacon, 10 grams of baby green mix, baby green salad mix, 17 grams of Roma tomato, seven grams of Kraft mayo with olive oil. That is half the fat of the regular Kraft mayonnaise. I don't really use mayonnaise that much anymore, but if I still did, this is what I would be using as the olive oil mayonnaise. Uh, 14 grams of shredded mozzarella cheese, one and a half ounces of great value sweet potato fries. And this is the serving size after they're baked. So you need to bake your fries first and then you can measure them out. Um, they tend to shrink up on you when before you cook them. So um, the nutrition breakdown for this meal is 502 calories, 41 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat, and 47 grams of protein. Um, this is probably one of my heavier meals that I have made and eaten, but um, if everybody else is having McDonald's and you want something nice too without all the other crap that you get with McDonald's, this is the way to go. This is probably one of my favorite dinners that I have had yet on my journey. This is a grilled turkey burger with red potatoes and broccoli. Now I do leave my skin on my potatoes. I just make sure that I clean them really well. A lot of the nutrition is in the skin. If you bake these in the oven like I did these red potatoes, the skin actually gets kind of crunchy and it, it, it kind of gives you that feeling of something that's fried, but it's not. Um, so in this meal is one Costco turkey burger, of course it's grilled, 197 grams of baked red potatoes, 100 grams of steamed broccoli, um, 342 calories, 41 grams of carbs, only 6 grams of fat, and 42 grams of protein in this meal. This was heavenly, you guys. You should definitely try this. So this is one of my lunches. This is a pan braised jerk pork loin and green veggies. Now I know it looks really awesome and it tasted okay, but I should have added some extra seasonings to these vegetables. Um, I'll get to that in just a second. So the ingredients in this is one 3.7 ounce pork loin. I braised this in a pan with jerk sauce. Um, that jerk sauce is the Laurie's Caribbean Jerk Marinade, and I used one tablespoon of that. There's one teaspoon of minced, minced garlic, five steamed Brussels sprouts, 63 grams of steamed broccoli, 
84 grams of whole green beans that were steamed. I also had some cottage cheese that was not shown in this picture, um, but that was 84.75 grams of fat-free cottage cheese and two and a half teaspoons of E.D. Smith peach mango orange preserves. And that is available at Costco. It has a lot less sugar than other preserves or jellies or jams. Um, and I just mixed that in with my cottage cheese and ate it as my dessert. And with that, so this nutritional breakdowns including the cottage cheese and the preserves it was 452 calories 40 grams of carbs 7 grams of fat and 55 grams of protein now if I had not had those preserves the carbs would have been less of course and, and the calories the fat there's not a lot of fat in the preservatives um, and there's none in the cottage cheese but you also get the protein from the cottage cheese if you want to eat that plain that's just great Okay, so this is one of the sandwiches that I absolutely love. This is made with um, some turkey salad that I make up previously, prepare previously, and then add it to my sandwiches or wraps. So in this, this meal here is one slice of great, great, oh, I need to tell you first, I only ate half of this sandwich. Um, by this point in my journey, I was really starting to eat a lot less food, not because I was trying to starve myself, but because my stomach wouldn't hold as much anymore. Um, I was eating smaller meals more often because my metabolism is really starting to pick up. So the ingredients is for one half of this sandwich. Um, it's one slice of great grains times two double fiber bread. Um, the times two is of course the double fiber and it's found in your grocery stores. Um, one ounce of baked turkey, a quarter tablespoon of sliced almonds, two grams of craisins, five grams of Kraft mayonnaise with olive oil, eight grams of spring mix, of course that's the the salad, uh, 20 grams of bell pepper strips, 50 grams of cucumber slices, seven grams of Italian blend cheese, the shredded cheese of course, and 30 grams of Marzita light dill veggie dip. That dip is awesome. I don't know if you can find it in your store, but again, that's Marzita. That's spelled M-A-R-Z-E-T-T-I. And the nutritional breakdown for this meal, again, this is with half of the sandwich, 281 calories, 34 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 14 grams of protein. This wonderful picture here is of one of my favorite pizzas that I have come up with yet. Um, I was not sure what to make for lunch this day and I just started taking stuff out of the refrigerator. So this is a seafood sun-dried tomato Alfredo pizza. On this we have one spinach and herb tortilla, 28 grams of Classico sun-dried tomato Alfredo sauce, 1.4 ounces of broiled baby shrimp, 42 grams of imitation crab meat, 10 grams of green bell pepper, 30 grams of shredded cabbage. And this is uncooked, and this is really, a, if you don't like cabbage, you can't taste the, the cabbage itself. You just get that nice crunch um, from the cabbage on this pizza. 14 grams of mozzarella shredded cheese, and 14 grams of Italian blend shredded cheese. The nutritional breakdown for this entire pizza, I know it's on just a tortilla, but this is a lot of food. It is 302 calories, 29 carbs, 12 grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein. After I had all my goodies on the tortilla, I threw it in the oven and baked it in there for about 12 minutes. And that is a toaster oven, by the way. So 12 minutes in the toaster oven. So here is a breakfast burrito that I made for myself. I was kind of starting to get tired of the same um, English muffins every morning. I think I'll go back to my English muffins though. So not that this is bad. I'm just, I'm not really an egg person and this was a lot of egg. So in this breakfast meal, I had one half of a flat out wrap, one regular egg, one egg white, two slices of Canadian bacon, one ounce of GDO turkey pastrami. By the way, that stuff is killer, guys. It's in your meat section of your grocery store. It's already packaged. It's in the big um, uh, 
slab of meat. Anyway, you take it to the butcher and they slice it for you. It is so awesome. It has a wonderful peppery flavor. Uh, one garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge. I buy that stuff in bulk, you guys. 14 grams of Italian shredded blend cheese and 30 grams of salsa. Now, I did not eat all... I did not eat all of the egg that was on here. It was a lot of egg. Um, the nutritional information is for the one egg and the one egg white, but I just couldn't eat all of it. So we have 290 calories, 15 carbs, 13 grams of fat, and 31 grams of protein. Okay, you guys, I was definitely on a wrap kick this day. This is what I had for lunch the same day. The other half of the flat out wrap, one garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge, one, 13 grams of raw spinach, one slice of Canadian bacon, two ounces of chicken breast that I had baked with um, cheese around it, uh, 14 grams of mozzarella shredded cheese, 0 0.3 ounces of sliced almonds, and a sprinkle of cayenne pepper. This wrap was so good. I loved it. 290 calories. 15 carbs, 15 grams of fat, and 28 grams of protein. This wrap is so good. You guys should really try this. Here's another fast, easy one. I had this for dinner one night. Another half flat out wrap. I Sometimes I eat the whole wrap depending on what I'm using it for. Sometimes I just cut it in half. Um, so a half of a flat out wrap, one garlic and herb laughing cow cheese wedge, I know you can't see them, but there are 7 grams of onions underneath that chicken, and they're just raw onions, so I could have a, a crunch to it. Uh, 3.2 ounces of grilled chicken breast. I take a bag of chicken breast, and I come out on my grill, and I just grill it all. I put the same kind of seasoning, the same kind of rub on it, and I just grill it. It seems to go with everything. So then you have some chicken that's made in advance. This was very fast and easy to make and 15 grams of steamed spinach on top. This nutritional breakdown for this meal was 172 calories, 10 carbs, 5 grams of fat, and 25 grams of protein. I absolutely loved this lunch. This was a chicken alfredo quesadilla with salsa. Now, my ingredients for this is one whole flat out wrap, uh, the, the flat out bread, and I can get the light Italian flavor. Um, 2 ounces of Kirkland's Chunk Chicken, 10 grams of onions, 10 grams of spinach, 12 grams of Newman's Own Alfredo Sauce. Now, because this was not the light version of the Alfredo Sauce, the, ca ca bleh, the nutritional information is a little bit higher. Um, I had told my husband that I wasn't going to go buy anything extra until I had used what we already had in our cupboard. And so this is just the regular all fat, all calorie Alfredo sauce. They do have a lighter version and Classico also makes a light version of the Alfredo sauce. Um, so there was 28 grams of mozzarella shredded cheese, 14 grams of Italian blend shredded cheese, and 30 grams of salsa. And the nutritional breakdown for this entire meal was 300 calories, 25 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fat, and 33 grams of 33 grams of protein. I cooked this on my panini press with no oil until it was crispy. It's a perfect addition to my meal plans. Okay, you guys, before I started my journey, I was definitely a pizza lover, so I have come up with all different kinds of pizzas to satisfy my cravings. This is a barbecue pizza that I made. It's one of the very first things that I made when I was on my journey. Um, this was made with a flat out wrap. And I used the recommended serving size from the Lloyd's Barbecue Chicken Tub that you can get from the grocery store. It's in a little yellow tub. Um, I added some pineapple chunks. I don't have the exact amount that I added, but however many much you add, make sure you add that to your calories at the end. Um, 14 grams of mozzarella shredded cheese and 14 grams of Italian blend shredded cheese. I think that it was a half ounce of bacon bits that I put on top. After I added all of my stuff, I popped this into the toaster oven for about 10 minutes. 
Now, I don't exactly remember the nutritional information on here. I don't have the date that this was made. I just know it was early in my journey. And so I can't go back on Spark People and look up the nutritional information. But I know that it was underneath my limits, so it's edible. I have come to love Subway on my journey. This was a three inch, um, a half of the six inch sub, so it's three inches. And this was the Black Forest ham. It's absolutely to die for on flat out bread, by the way. Um, this Oikos Greek yogurt is very good. This is the blueberry flavor. Um, and of course, some tomatoes. And I added a couple jalapenos to my flat out bread um, sub. Anyway, so, and then you have the one tablespoon of light mayonnaise, and I actually only used half of that one tablespoon on this three-inch sub. The total calories and the nutritional information was 314 calories, 34 carbs, and 25 grams of protein. I'm not exactly sure on the fat, but it wasn't that high. I can guarantee you that. I know a lot of you are asking for snacks. Well, this is something that I found that is absolutely amazing, you guys. I was hungry. I didn't want to eat a whole lot, and I just decided to pull some stuff out of the refrigerator and see what I could come up with. So, this is a half a cup of non-fat cottage cheese or fat-free cottage cheese. This is 1.8 ounce of turkey pastrami, that Genio pastrami that I was talking about. 1.8 ounces. This is one medium sliced red tomato. And what I did was I sliced up my tomato and then cut them in half, laid them out on the plate, added my cottage cheese a teaspoon at a time, and then topped it with a piece of that pastrami. The nutritional information for this snack was 154 calories, 12 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, and 22 grams of protein. This was so good, it hit the spot and curved my hunger cravings until dinner. This was an awesome lunch that I came up with. This is a grilled pork loin with roasted red potatoes and some mixed squashes and vegetables. This is 4.3 ounces of grilled and trimmed pork loin. I make sure I trim any extra fats off of my meat before I eat them, and I almost always grill my meat. So, yes, 4.3 ounces of pork loin, 120 grams of roasted red potatoes with the skin, 125 grams of summer squash and zucchini, and broccoli and cauliflower. Um, 25 grams of cucumber and 33 grams of Roma tomato. The whole meal was 304 calories, 31 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, and 21 grams of protein. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know that the program that I use to keep track of my calories, carbs, fat, and protein, and as well as other nutritional information, is a, a website called sparkpeople.com. They also have an app for Android and smartphones that you can get from the App Store. Um, I'll post a link down here of what that or the website. Um, so you can go there if you haven't already made an account. After I put in that information, I always put in my information before I eat my foods. Even still, now that I know what basically everything is, um, I still do that. It's, it just It's just a habit. And it keeps me from going out, eating something new, or making something new at home, and not knowing exactly what's in it. So I would recommend always counting up what you're eating before you put it in your mouth. I know that it, it does get tiresome, it gets old, and like I said, now I kind of know what I'm eating before I put it in my mouth, but in the very beginning you don't, and it's still just a really good habit to, to do. It doesn't take long to do it on your phone, especially if you make some favorites and you eat, you're eating the same things. You don't have to um, manually enter in everything on the nutritional information on the back of the foods. Um, also, I use my fitness pal. Um, sometimes I'll go ahead and add in everything that I ate in that meal. Other times I'll just quick add the calories so that I can keep track of how many calories I'm putting in versus what I'm expending with my exercise. So two awesome programs, sparkpeople.com and myfitnesspal.com. And they also have an app for smartphones, Android, and iPhone. So those are two things that I just wanted to let you know about. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on meal plans or things that you'd like to see me cook, recipes you'd like me to try and make videos for you guys, let me know. I am 
I'm always open for new suggestions. So anyway, have a great night and here's to everybody taking it off.